Kristen Taylor, um, and I want to talk to you about the Society of Unsubscribe, which I think we are actually all members of. Um, I found this online. It's actually a Hogwarts thing. It turns out if you Google for Family Crest these days, you get all Hogwarts images. Um, so I get this beautiful, joyous feeling online every morning because I have a new habit, um, and I unsubscribe from email newsletters. Um, and this is what it feels like. It feels like diving in to clear water as though there are new horizons, right? There are things that I don't know. Um, and a few years ago, my friend Jeremy Tanner, who lives in Boulder, um, this actually three years ago, um, said about his Twitter policy that when he follows you, it's because your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. And I'm interested in how we can all be powerful actors um, with our inboxes and what that means. Um, and especially in terms of each individual transaction. Um, so, my very first job at college was working for uh, indirect marketing, um, and the ads looked just like this more than 10 years ago. Um, and what the customer wanted to, or, sorry, the client wanted us to do was to shorten the transaction cycle between the number of time, between when the, uh, the customer would purchase a pair of eyeglasses. Um, and what I'm seeing now is new ways of saying that same exact thing. How do we shorten the transaction life cycle? So what we're seeing is that the content mullet strategy, which happens on a lot of sites, is slowly starting to disappear. Instead of that, I think we're going to get hipster sideburns, and I'm about to explain uh, what I think that means. Um, the content mullet strategy is one that you're familiar with from HuffPo, where there's some really beautiful articles on the front page, and there's a party in the back of farmed content. Okay, I'm going to share with you two emails that I received this week um, and how they made me feel um, and what that power transaction uh, was like. So the first one, um, and you'll see the title of the email at the top, is from a new startup called Skillshare. Um, and they were asking me to come back and teach a class again, but it opened. Hi, Kristen, have you been playing hooky? You haven't taught a Skillshare class in a while, so we want to make sure you're still out there. That makes me feel sort of bad. Um, and then this is a different one from fab.com. This is a daily deal site for fabulous stuff. Um, and this says, hi, we need feedback from you. It's from the CEO. Um, if you come and spend 10 minutes, give us feedback, we're going to give you credits on our site. It's a very different kind of value transaction. Um, and so to return to what Jeremy said, um, I'm now thinking more about the first part of it. When you follow someone or some brand online, it's because their ideas are intriguing to you and therefore you wish to subscribe to their newsletter. So when I think about this, and I think about unsubscribing, that thing that gives me joy, I think about it as something like, it's not me, it's you that are boring me right now. Maybe we can be friends later, but not right now. Um, and it makes me feel, it makes me think about this piece um, from a few years ago, which is how I feel um, when I unsubscribe from something. That's kind of what I'm saying. And a door is sort of the level of what I need you to do if you're gonna make it into the inbox. Right, so I can feel that level of control. Um, when I feel something that's not that, that's akin to dislike or displeasure, then I actually want to remove it um, from my life and from my inbox. Um, and so then we get back to this idea of what, it, what does it mean to have hipster sideburns. Um, so if you have uh, a hipster mullet, and that picture was mine um, from on Flickr about uh, seven years ago. Um, and some of the things that I think we can do to get rid of the mullet, get closer to sideburns, is to shop for content when we're online. So you're actually looking for things when you want them and at the level that you want them and not necessarily, that doesn't always mean that you know what you're looking for before you start looking. Um, the newer that I'm thinking about when I work with uh, people, I'm working with Al Jazeera, I'm working with Bill Voices right now, um, is how do we make the content alluring no matter when people encounter it? How do we get people in there and understanding the whole story no matter when they arrive, right? Especially if they leave and they check something else out and then they come back. And when they come back, the penalties for rejoining are low because when you have the mullet, you're making poor life choices, but when you have it or sideburns, you probably lost a bet and there's a story there. And that's what I think is really interesting. So uh, that's it. Thanks a lot.